Hello everyone, this is Suzanne. This is As the Spirit Moves. I want to welcome my subscribers. I cherish each and every one of you. And we did have a request for a special devotion on grief. Now grief comes in many forms. The loss of a loved one, children going astray, things not turning out quite the way that we thought in life. There's a lot to grieve about, but we must remember to keep the faith through it all. About nine years ago, my husband passed away. He went in for heart surgery, and he did not come out of it. Now, Michael had a great, deep faith, and he knew. He knew he was going to be ushered in the presence of God that very day, and he was okay with that. And God gave me this peace that passes all understanding. My journey is not done yet. And yes, I grieve Michael's loss. I'm human, right? But I had to remember God loves each and every one of us. And everybody has a time to live and a time to die. And it wasn't my time. And you know, I moved into an apartment and the transition was hard. I didn't like the apartment. Oh, it was a beautiful apartment, but it didn't, it felt like something was missing. And that missing part of me, part of me was gone that I would never capture back. But I have lots of memories and lots of pictures. And I keep remembering what Michael said, keep the faith. And God did a miraculous thing for me. The moment Michael died, I had this peace. That passes all understanding. If you've never experienced that, wow. When we develop that peace that passes understanding, and over the next year, I did. I came more fully to understand the ways of God and why things happen the way they do. And it grew me up a lot in ways that I would have never grown otherwise. And isn't it often through our pain and anguish that we grow. You know, it's sad that it has to be that way, but that's how the best lessons are learned. And if you're grieving the loss of a husband or a wife, my heart truly goes out to you. And I would ask that you not get stuck, that eventually you learn to move on and go beyond what God has for you. To, to press forward to the prize that is going to be yours one day. And I love Michael. I don't regret loving him. And I don't regret loving people that are now in my life. I didn't stop loving people because my husband died. And we just need to know in our hearts that God will be with us. He will send comforters. I had so many people surrounding me and helping me during that time. It made that transition a lot easier. And I would say to you, surround yourself with mentors, people that you respect, that will come around you and encourage you. Reach out to them. They will help you in ways that you don't even realize right now. There is a book that I want to um, talk about a little bit and share with you. I highly recommend this book. In fact, there's two books. This one is called Through a Season of Grief. It's written by Bill Dunn and Kathy Leonard. This book helped me on my road to recovery. And, you know, I prayed to God, God, please give me something. And he did. You know, when we pray hard and we say, God, you got to give me something, I'm hanging on by that mustard seed. God will always come through, always. This other book I have is When God Sees Your Tears. These two books will help you grow in your grief. They'll help you overcome this hurdle in your life that you can move on. And nobody can tell you how long that grief should be. I would say if there's a healthy grieving period, you know, that's hard to say, isn't it? Um, 
I struggled with that myself. Is a year long enough? Is two years? Three years? Well, a year later, God crossed my path with another great man of faith, Ron. We've been married now, coming up on eight years. And it's been great. I've been blessed with another great man of faith. And it's been a wonderful journey. And I don't know who's going to pass on first, him or me. But I know the one that's left will carry on because it's not your time. So please remember that. It's just not your time. We never know when someone's going to die. That's why we love them and cherish them every second we can. And I was having a really bad couple of days. And yesterday I went to the Dollar Tree and I found this card. It says, Faith is the friend that comes along when things seem to go all wrong. Faith is your friend. Dig into the scriptures. Look up all the scriptures on faith. Jesus wept. You know, he wept over Lazarus. You know, you, you have to get beyond that grief. Jesus knew his time was coming. And, you know, he went to the cross for us willingly. And that's the greatest love of all. And he left us a message to talk about him and to share him with others so that they too may go to where he is. And of course, that is heaven. So what better way to grieve than in the presence of the Lord? Now, in the description box below, I did write an article on the roller coaster emotion of grief one year after Michael died that was published in our church newspaper. And I put that all below for you to read. I hope you benefit from, the, from it and it helps you on your journey of grief. And I will be praying for you. And know that this is just but for a season. It too shall pass, and you will be stronger, and you will be better than you've ever been in your walk and your faith. Please, don't lose hope. I love you, and I hope that this has helped some of you dealing with grief. All right, everyone, until next time on As the Spirit Moves.